Yvonne Y.Y. Clark was a pioneer for African-American and women engineers, and her legacy includes a bunch of firsts. As a kid, she really enjoyed fixing things and would rewire lamps and repair things around the house. But at school, she was disallowed from taking a mechanical engineering class because she was a girl. After she graduated high school at the age of 16, she was awarded a full scholarship to the University of Louisville, Kentucky, but when they found out she was black, they rescinded her scholarship. So under threat of lawsuit, the state of Kentucky paid for her to go to Howard University, the historically black research university in Washington, D.C. And in 1951, she was the first woman to earn a mechanical engineering degree from Howard University. She was the only woman in a graduating class of 300. 299 of them walked the graduation ceremony, but she was disallowed and had to go get her degree issued from the president's office. And in 1952, she became the first African-American member of the Society of Women Engineers. And she got denied loads of jobs due to sexism and racism. But eventually, she got hired at a U.S. Army ammunitions plant designing recoilless weapons. Then she went on to work in the electronic tube department at the RCA record label designing factory equipment. After that, she went into academia and was the first female member of the Tennessee State University Mechanical Engineering Department. She would take summers off and go work as an engineer in the field, working at NASA, Westinghouse, and Ford. At NASA, she spent time investigating the Saturn V engines for hotspots. And she also helped design the containers that Neil Armstrong used to bring moon samples back to Earth. She was super awesome, and I hadn't heard about her before that comment, so thanks, Dane.